Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Davies with Zions Direct, and I'm here today with Ryan Longman, Be Ready Utah Manager for the Utah Division of Emergency Management. Today we're talking about personal and family preparedness. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ryan. Thank you. Tell us a little bit more about what you do. Well, Be Ready Utah is the state's emergency preparedness campaign. We provide families, businesses, schools, and communities information about how they can get prepared for the, the emergencies that we have every year here in the state. Now I know that there are a lot of different disasters in Utah. Normally we think about earthquakes only. Can you tell us about some of the other things? Absolutely. You know, one of the disasters we see most uh, in Utah is actually flooding. We mm -hmm. have flooding every year. We deal with it. In fact, last year was a pretty scary year for us in floods. We also deal with wildfires, uh, winter storms, um, all different types of hazards. We've even seen tornadoes here in Utah. Now, when we're thinking about our family being prepared, what do we need to have in line, have in order for our preparedness? Well, the first thing that we encourage families to do is have a good emergency plan for their family. One of the most important parts of that emergency plan is having a good contact out of state that everybody knows to call in the event that you can't make a phone call uh, inside the state. In disasters, we see that it's more difficult for phone lines to work in the state, and so to make a phone, uh, phone call out of state works a lot easier. And so just having a person out of state that everyone in the family knows to contact to let them know you're okay is a good thing to have. Another important uh, piece to the emergency plan for a family is to have a good 72-hour kit. Mm -hmm. And that 72-hour kit allows you to either have to leave your home or stay in your home and have a supply of water and a supply of food and other um, uh, important things that you need to make sure that you're good to go for at least 72 hours before help can come. What are some of the things other than food and water that we're going to need in our 72-hour kit that maybe people don't think about? You know, one of the things that people tend to not think about in their 72-hour kit is having some cash on hand. In some major disasters, you'll see major power outages where people don't have access to their bank accounts. They can't access ATMs. Mm -hmm. And so you should have small bills and a good cache of, of bills available in your 72-hour kit so that you can make small purchases here and there, food, water, the, the supplies that you need during a disaster. This is all so much to think about, you know. So what are, where can somebody go to learn more? Is there a website? There is. Mm -hmm. People can go to BeReadyUtah.gov. Mm -hmm. They can learn how to make an emergency plan, how to put together a kit, uh, and, and they can learn information about the types of disasters that we do have in Utah and how to prepare specifically for those different kinds of disasters. You know, we also live in a very unique state in Utah. People are into preparedness here. Mm -hmm. And we've got a lot of emergency preparedness uh, companies all around the, the Wasatch Front that people can go to, get information, get products. Um, so there's a lot of good resources out there for people in Utah. Um, no excuse not to prepare here. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. To see more videos like this, subscribe to the Zions Direct YouTube channel.